Our next question is, John, one of your endorsements is from NARAL, the National Abortion and Reproductive Rights Action League. Can you please articulate why NARAL endorses school board members? And all three candidates, please share your position on this. The order will be John, then Kirsten, then Kelly. Yeah, um, I'm actually very excited to have this endorsement. This is a group that supports what I think we talked about earlier, our health, our health systems, our prevention of sexual violence in our kids. Comprehensive, age-appropriate, uh, evidence-based health education, reproductive health education. I think it's so important to have that. I'm very proud to have this endorsement. I sought it out. I completed their survey. I met with them for 45 minutes and talked about my beliefs in why this is important. So I'm, I'm very pleased to have the endorsement. Um, and I, I, they stand for things that I believe in, so I'm happy to have it. So just my opinion on NARAL or my opinion on a woman's right to choose? Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm going with the last. <laughs> I, all right, good. <laughs> I was quite frankly surprised by this endorsement. Um, I think that running for office for the first time in a nonpartisan uh, election, uh, I find it surprising the outside politics that are influencing it, especially because no one reached out to me uh, for an endorsement process for NARAL, um, and so I find it interesting that there would be any reason to be endorsed by that group in a school board election. That's just my opinion. Did you, did you leave or did you? I just said I'm pro I was, that's why I was, do you want to repeat the question? So I'm not, so I don't have a NARAL endorsement. Okay. Right, was that the question? Yes. No, I don't have that. We can move on. Okay. No. 